Let's talk Texas for a minute. So Texas Tech, three straight wins. This win over U, uh, UCF this past weekend got them bowl eligible. Now they're going to go on the road to Austin to play Texas for the last game of the season. Texas, despite Quinn Ewers going down for a few of those games, they remained un, they remained unbeaten since that loss to, uh, to Oklahoma. Quinn Ewers has come back. They keep rolling. They won on the road at Iowa State. So this one right here, Texas 10-1 right now, hosting Texas Tech. How do you have it? Well, obviously, it's it's a must win. It, and Texas, you know, with Jonathan Brooks being out the, the running back for the rest of the year, Quinn did look a little bit healthier last week. But I just don't feel like Texas is hitting on all cylinders mm -hmm. right now. I don't think that Texas is playing their best ball at the end of the year. And that's what you want, right? Right. Not saying you can't turn it around and, and figure something out or maybe have a little reset dur during the break, uh, getting ready for the Big 12 championship game. But you do play, have this game at home. If this game was at Texas Tech with Joey McGuire, which it was announced, Tyler Shook's going to transfer. I don't know if you saw that. I did see that. Um, as well as very classy post from Joey McGuire as well, a guy we have a lot of respect for here. You get this game at home. You found ways to win, whether it be on special teams and not playing great on offense. At some point, though, that, that switch has to get flipped. You got to turn back into this offense, even without Jonathan Brooks, because you still got to, I know you got a couple guys beat up, Xavier Worthy. A little bit, little bit beat up. Yeah, he's a little bit beat up. I think he will be ready in this yeah, game. Yeah, uh, but be different. Tell me. But you're still better than Texas Tech, and I like what Baron Morton's come in and done. You know, since since the second, since my birthday. You know, you, they played TCU at home. They win that one, 28 He was twenty eight to thirty six for two hundred eighty two yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. You beat Kansas sixteen to thirteen. He was nineteen to twenty five. You beat UCF twenty four twenty three. He was twenty one to thirty five. I mean, Baron Morton has come in. And when he's played, he's pretty much won. I mean, if we're, if we're going to be honest, I, I think he's done a pretty good job taking over. But this Texas Tech team going on the road, yeah, you're trying to play spoiler. Yeah, you've got some team speed. I just think Texas is too much up front over four quarters, even though, again, they are not playing their best ball. What's the line on this? This one's ball? also minus 13 and a half, and the over-under is 53. Hmm. God, how do, we, how do we feel about that over? I mean, Texas Tech. I like just, the under, if anything. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you. Well, you know, what Big 12 team right now is hitting on all cylinders? There's not one. Oklahoma State? No. I mean, you beat Houston, you get rolled by UCF. Oklahoma? No. Kansas State? No. I, hell, if anybody, it's West Virginia. And West yeah. Virginia's I mean, Kansas State had a nice win on, yeah. on the road to Kansas. Um, yeah, I mean, I like Texas in this game. I just, I just don't think Texas Tech will have enough. I think Texas will be able to control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball, hold on to the football, stay on time when it comes to an offense. And I just don't think Texas Tech will be able to do what they did against UCF, and that's have 190 rushing yards mm -hmm. against this Texas team. You lost your quarterback. Oh, the kids showed some flashes. But I like Texas in this game. I like him to cover, and I do like do, the under as well. Do we worry about Texas stopping the pass? Yes. With Morton, though. Um, not enough. He doesn't scare me enough to where I think they would lose. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be interesting to watch. We want to know what you think. Everybody on YouTube, thanks for stopping by. Do us a favor. If you haven't already yet, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for stopping by. Turn that notification bell on, too, so you'll know every time that we drop content as we move into the postseason of college football.